guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got uh, another little guilty pleasure song for you guys today. Level 42, Something About You. Um, this is a, just a fantastic song, and it's got a, a great guitar solo uh, by Ben Gould in it as well. So we're going to learn the guitar solo towards the end of the lesson. But first, we're going to take you through the chords um, and just show you how to play this, this 80s classic instantly recognizable. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already and ring that notification bell, of course, so you know when I see a new video and you can like and comment the videos and help me out with the YouTube thing. Um, and if you really want to support what I do here on YouTube and you, you appreciate that I'm uploading multiple songs a week, um, please check out my Guitar Academy. It's the best way to support anything that I do online. Um, you'll see a link in the description. Uh, that link will give you a free seven day trial to my Guitar Academy too, so you can check it out and, and see if you like it or not. Um, Contains all my guitar courses, which from everything completely beginner courses to more advanced courses in technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, uh, a full guitar tone course, everything. So it's all there for you. You get personalized support from me as well. Um, so please go check it out by clicking the link below, and I hope to see you there. All right, let's jump into the song. I'm in standard tuning here, and a lot of this, there's not a lot of guitar, rhythm guitar stuff in this. It's mostly like kind of synth patches and, and stuff like that. Um, so I'm, a lot of that rhythmic stuff that I'm doing, the it's uh, it's really kind of being done on like a, a synth patch, um, and not not on a guitar. But so I'm kind of doing. There's a couple little uh, little guitar layers going on. So I'm not really going to focus on that. So it's mostly the keyboard stuff or, or those chords that we're talking about here. Um, so it's Two sections, the chorus riff, which I just played, and then the verse riff, and then we'll get to the solo. All right, so we're gonna start here with this E power chord. It says open E string, second fret on the, low, on the A string. Then you play the second fret on the low E, and then go up here and play the fourth fret and fifth fret on the low E. Over to the second fret on the A, and then it takes us to the first chord. Now, you can do that little uh, bass line a little bit different. So instead of four, five here, you play the four, but instead of playing the, uh, the A there, you can play just the open A string. If that's more comfortable for you, just like that. So you just move that note to the open string. Everything else is the same. I kind of like like that because you can kind of keep the, the notes more even sounding. And then we get to this first chord. We start doing this rhythm on. So this is um, I'm playing just a C major chord. So the third fret on the A, fifth fret across the D and G and the B. Then I'm going to take that up to a D major. So just up two frets, same thing, and then up to an E major. So I'm doing this rhythm. So it's like down, up, down, up, down, up. So to kind of really make it as funky as possible. So you'll notice that I do not stop the strumming here. And that's the key to doing this kind of thing. If you stop, you're dead. So, so I, I went down, then I did an upstroke in midair, then a downstroke in midair. And then I hit the next up stroke. So it's like. And every time I'm hitting the string, I'm immediately then releasing the pressure here to kind of give it that staccato sound. So basically, you see what I'm doing is the rhythm is I'm hitting when I hit the strings, and then I have a couple of ghost strokes, uh, which are missing the strings. But it's important to keep them going, keep that arm going, keep some momentum in the feel, the beat. So I have this. So if you're always skipping two hits in between, it's going to be a down that's going to be hit, then an up, then a down, then an up. Down, up, down, up. And then the last one, you're just going to hit both the down up. Like that, so I have this. All right, so that's the rhythm that for the at least for the chorus section, this chorus riff. The other ones 
the verse riff's a little bit more subdued. <laughs> Now, some of those ghost strokes, if you want, can actually be played, you can hit the strings, but they're dead. The strings are dead, so. So it's kind of. So therefore, you're hitting the strings each time. You don't have to worry about much about the right hand missing the strings. It's just the timing of the, the fret hand holding the note, holding the chord and releasing and, and then. All right, and then, and then that, that creates the rhythm is the, the fret hand pressure. And then move it up to two frets to so the D. And then up three frets. I'm okay, sorry, two more frets to the, the seventh fret for the E. And then you start the little riff again. So you can hear right there, I'm hitting a lot of the just the dead string. So you can choose to. Sorry. Or you can actually add the. So it's kind of hitting those percussive attacks in between the actual played chords. All right, so that's the chorus shift, just that repeated. I can't really sing and play this, like I said. Uh, I've talked about this before. <laughs> if it's very simple <laughs> rhythms and, and uh, but you know, not much for singing and playing at the same time too much, unless it's really, really easy stuff, which this isn't. All right, and then the chorus looks like this. I'm sorry, the verse looks like this. All right, so we have this E major chord. And then the keys do this whole line. So we can do it on guitar. We'll just play that note that you're playing at the first fret on the G. Play that. So strum the chord first. Then play that G string. Hammer on to the second fret. Then the open, play the open B. Then the open high E string. Just a little melody that the keys play. We can do it perfectly fine on the guitar. Then you're gonna jump up here to this C sharp minor chord. So this is just barring across five strings uh, at the fourth fret. And in front of that bar, you're gonna play the fifth fret on the B, sixth fret on the G, and sixth fret on the D. Then back to this D. Now, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm sure you noticed a lot of these major chords I play with the bar, I'm barring my pinky, but you can still bar it like that or play it like that. However, it's that same D major we did it earlier. And then take it down to the second fret. We still have a five string bar and we're gonna play a B minor chord. So we have that five string bar and then in front of it, we're gonna play the third fret there on the, as well, it's just like this, this C sharp minor we just did. All right, we're just gonna move it down two frets. So all together we have this E, then that little lick, then jump up to C minor, C sharp minor, I'm sorry, and then the D major, and then the B minor. And we'll go through those chords again. You don't do the little lick on the E major chord, just keep playing it. And then the C sharp minor, the D, minor. So same four chords. Now we're going to do them this, the way we did the first time through, which is that little lick on the E. But the 
just the same four chords, C sharp minor after that, E, and then D, and then B minor, and then back to the version without the little E lick. All right, now there is a little, actually a different rhythm with that. You, you kind of keep in the same rhythm, but it's not quite as percussive. So it's like. the same little chord shift that we just did earlier. All right, so those are the only two chord progressions uh, that are going on throughout the song. But we do have a killer guitar solo by Ben Gould. So let me play through this solo for you. There's a main solo, and then they kind of go back into the chord progression, and there's a little lick a little bit later on in the song. I'll cover that little lick after the solo. But uh, we'll take, here's the main solo, so here we go. <laughs> cool solo there. Uh, some really difficult bending to get it exactly in tune too, so let's go through it. So this first phrase. So we're going to start here with the uh, ninth fret there in the G. Then you're going to slide to the 13th fret there on the G string, that G sharp. Then over to the 12th fret on the B. And then you're going to slide from the 15th fret on the B up to 17. From that D to the E. Then over to the 15th, I'm sorry, the 17th fret there on the um, G string, that C note. So we have this. All right, then we have this. So that's sliding into the 20th fret there, then play 19, 17, over to 19 on the G. Then you're gonna play 16, 19 on the G. Oh, back over to 17 on the B string. Then hammer 17 to 19. And then back to 17, and then end it with that bend, whole set bend there at the 19th fret. So we have this. All right, so now it gets a little bit more difficult. It looks like this. So that's so that's a couple of more uh, whole step bends at that 19th fret there on the B. Up a whole step, then play 1917 normal again. So and then do that again. So and now we're gonna do the bend again, but it's a half step bend instead of a whole step. So instead of it's. So with this. And 
And so it's going back and forth between a, half, a whole set bends and half set bends that can be tricky there. You gotta really use your ear. Then we're gonna jump up here to the uh, 22nd fret on the uh, B string and do a couple of whole step bends there. Now he does play this, he's got a, you know, the, what I see, he's like got a Les Paul, he's way up there, so he's not planted uh, there, he's planted here. And uh, so it's a couple of whole step bends at the, on the uh, 22nd fret of the B. And then play that 22nd fret without the bend. And then come down back to the uh, 19th fret. And I do that same thing. A couple of half step bends. So bend, and again. And then play that uh, 19th fret without the uh, any kind of bend at all. Then that's 17 on the B, 19 on the G. Back to that 17, and then slide 19 down to 16 on the G. So with this. Now the last look at the solo looks like this. So that's gonna be six, uh, 17 on the B to 16 on the G. Do that, pick those two notes, cross those notes twice. Then we're gonna go down to the 14th fret there on the G, G string, go 14, 13, do that twice. Then play 14, 12 twice on the D. And then we're gonna slide 14 down to 12 on the A. Down to 10 there to end the solo on the A string. So all together, a little bit slower. Just a great solo. And then we have, goes back through some kind of the vocals come in. We have this little lick at the, um, that happens a little, little later, looks like this. All right, so that's just the, the uh, 17th fret there on the B string, over to 16 on the high E. Then you play 19, 17, 16 on the high E. All right, and then we go back to that. That's 17 on the B, 16 on the G. Then play 14. 14, 13, slide down to 12. So, I'm sorry, not yet. Actually, when you slide, when you go down to the 13th fret, go back up 14, 16, then back down 14, 13, and slide down to the 12th fret. So we have this. And then from there, up to 14 on the G, and slide into 16. All right, so that is it for uh, the guitar solo and the two chord progressions of the song. It's a great song, pretty uh, simple in its layout, but the solo has is, is got some really kind of uh, challenging parts to it too, and it's just really melodic though, so it's a lot of fun to get underneath your fingers. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.